again. Loud, but I didn't see her drop, I saw, saw her run off. I'll be about 10 minutes, or 10, 20 minutes. But we'll see if there's any blood. But the trouble was she wasn't getting brass-sided for me. You know, she finally did, but not the side I wanted to, but I'm like, I didn't know if she was gonna stay or not. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm like, oh, hurry up. And uh, try getting shot in there. She went west. So, we'll just see if I get her or not. <laughs> Man, I'd hate to miss another deer. She didn't drop, so, just trying to figure out where I would have hit her at. She ran, and I'd hate. Alright, let's see. Let's see. So I hit her brass. I did like I didn't know what I think. So it's like, no, if it did hit her, I would have got her again. Um, just, there's like a tree. And I like to put her when they're on the, when you're sitting up there on the right side, before she went to the left. And I'm pretty sure she was going to leave. But yeah, I'm like, I got that. We're gonna see if there's blood and see if I got her or not. I'm not gonna track her if there is. Just let her die. But I definitely wanna see if I did hit her. So, it's 10.03. I shot that deer at uh, 8.03. It's weird because I went and looked over for uh, blood and all I saw was hair. So, you know, I'm like, ah, oh. you know, I can look around and everything. I'm like, ah, oh. I think I, I don't think I hit it because there's just no blood. So I just sat and sat. And I'm like, okay, it's like 9:45. I'm like, I'll go look. So I went over and uh, I ended up finding it like only like 30 yards away. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that works out. Yeah, so I think it's cool. I did get it. It's just weird because there was no blood. I mean, there was a little hair, so I know I got it. But like uh, two days ago, I shot and I just got like the belly of it. So I'm like, oh, I thought I shot underneath it. But I'm driving over, so I get closer to it. I'm going to drag it out and gut it. See, in there it opens up a little bit. And that's where it was at. Then you look right here. And here it is. I mean, she's pretty decent, so that's a good thing. So it's not that far. I'm just gonna drag it probably like over more so it's off the trail and got it. So, because right here is like a right here is like a main trail they probably cross saw. So, I'm just gonna make sure it gets away from that. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk back where I shot it because over by where it fell down, there's actually quite a bit of blood. I shot right where I want it, right behind the shoulder. So I see why it didn't run too far. It's a little younger, but the body's pretty big on it for being a younger deer. So, yeah, so about 10 yards, uh, more like 20. The blood kind of starts. I don't know if I can see any over here. Oh, yeah. Right here on that little thing. It's not much. But then come over and then over where my car is parked over there is where it ran. Like right there, it start getting more. There's actually hair too. Like I'm trying to look and there's not really like too much blood. And I'm trying to look. And it's weird because it's like it wasn't bleeding that bad at, at first it looks like. till it really gets over... Man, I'm really not seeing any blood over here. And then this thicker grass, you know, looking, looking, ain't really seen any blood on, like any of it. Which actually, there's a little bit over here, but it's not like it's a lot. And then it's not really until it gets into here, I feel like it's probably when it starts bleeding a lot. Like again, I ain't really seen 
like a lot of blood at all. And over here, yeah, see, not much blood. There's some on here splattered. I don't know if you can see that. Then some on here, quite a bit on there, all over in here. The must have just fell. And I mean, there's a lot of blood here now, just because I look back there like on the ground and stuff, right behind the shoulder. Hopefully I didn't ruin any shoulder meat. Yeah, so looking actually, it looked like she ran here and stopped because now I'm looking over on here and it looked like blood just was spitting out. And she's actually not that young in dough because when they're younger, they're short and stubby. And when they're older, they get longer and skinnier of a nose and a little more gray in the face. I thought she was younger because she had a skinny nose, but I realized uh, this is actually an older doe because she has a bigger head for what it is. The nose is longer on it. Just it was covered up by uh, grass when I was looking at it. So I did actually get a pretty decent doe. She was older, so that mean that's what probably what explains why she's much bigger. So, but I'll show you the blood over here, and then I gotta get this gut in. Yeah, so it looks like she stood there and it just splattered out. Like there's blood kind of all over in here. I don't know if you can see it, some there. But yeah, she kind of like probably must have ran from over in there, ran here, and finally felt the shock of it and just dropped. So that's a good thing. So dragging her, she was <laughs> pretty heavy. I mean, they've been getting fat all uh, seasons. Um, like it is getting colder, so they are going to be a little heavier uh no she's definitely gonna give me a lot of meat i'd like to see where the bullet went into her because that's the exit wound so that actually went perfect because if she ran that means it probably didn't ruin any shoulder meat well she didn't have to run far she's a nice doe i'll set my tripod up see so you guys can see me gutting it i know you probably don't want to but i had to take my watch off and ring so i can but i'll do like a time lapse so it's quick all right, flipped her over real quick, and man, I did ruin some of the shoulder on the other side. I'm surprised she didn't drop because that gun is was a big gun I shot her with, and uh, there should have definitely been more. She should have just got knocked down where I hit her, but it's okay. I'll gut her and uh, get this done. All right, I said I would do time lapse, but I'm just gonna do a video, and I can always speed it up so many layers on so my arms are like cutting circulation but there's a deer i'm just gonna gut it, it takes me a little longer because more times i do it faster i can get at it so i'm gonna get that done and uh yeah i can hear the blood sloshing all over in the inside here so she definitely wasn't gonna go far her legs are a little stiff, but that's okay. Um, yeah, fine. Just gotta be careful because I don't want to cut the uh, guts open because that smells so bad. No, she's dead because it wouldn't let me be cutting into it like this. What happened there was I cut into the cavity and let the, all the air out. <laughs> she's a little more skinnier now, but <laughs> she's still a pretty big deer. I just gotta cut this out so I can get her legs apart. So here, what I'm doing with this is I'm gonna be cutting the pelvic bone out. Even though this looks nice, the teeth are actually kind of big. So it's a pain in the butt when cutting it out, but it makes it a lot nicer for gutting because when you reach in there and pull all the guts out, you don't have to worry about cutting that out and everything. You just can pull it out in one clean swipe. So all I'm gonna do is take the 
saw here, stick it in and uh, cut it out. I mean, it's pretty much gutted. Um, so I'm just gonna roll it over, uh, get this blood out, and uh, we'll be good to go. I mean, it took me a little longer because, um, sorry, my hat's like this, but it took me a little longer because that saw blade isn't the best. And then, um, for the butthole i forgot about that but i got that so i'm just gonna roll it over and then it should be good to go all right so it's good in hands cleaned off tagged now i got all i gotta do is go back and hang it it was actually <laughs> it was a weird day i got out here and they were already out here when i got up so i went up waited till it was like till it was bright enough to tell like how big they were so i uh Waited till I saw the biggest one and I'm like, well, I'm like, I need one more and I need meat. So I shot actually a pretty decent one. Uh, so I'm like, and then I waited about uh, 15 minutes, went down and only saw fur. Like, man, I was looked around. I'm like, there's no blood. I'm like, I didn't even look to go find it because I didn't want to spook it away just in case if I did get a bad shot. But so I just went back up and sat. And I'm like, man, I'm like. I'm like, can't believe I missed it. So I sat and I saw like two more does in the back in the woods come in and they came to that opening and sniffed and just saw where I was at. Well, they didn't see where I was at, but smelt me and they didn't want to come in. I'm like, okay. So I just sat and sat and I'm like, I'm like, well, I went and packed everything up. And I'm like, I'll just go see if I can, maybe it's lying somewhere and I don't know. So I went and I actually was going to go around and I saw the white, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, there it is. I'm like, going like 30, 40 yards away. So I'm like, that's cool. Turned out being a cool day, filled my tags. So that's what we were looking for. So that's cool.